It's time for our Seen and Unseen segment where we expose the big cultural stories of the day. And tonight's focus, elites targeting you in America. Hollywood's Georgia boycott, Oberman takes on the South. And two states don't want you to eat Chick-fil-A. Joining us now, all the details, Raymond Arroyo, Fox News contributor, New York Times bestselling author of the brand new book, Will Wilder, The Amulet of Power. All right, Raymond, why are the Hollywood do-gooder elites now trying to mess with the Georgians? Now, look, Laura, Georgia is poised to pass what they call the heartbeat bill. Now, this would forbid abortions at about six weeks once a fetal heartbeat is detected. Well, actress Alyssa Milano, who's shooting a Netflix series in Georgia, has gotten a hundred actors to sign a letter threatening to boycott the state if it passes the heartbeat law. They include Alec Baldwin, Amy Schumer, Mark Garofalo, and others. Milano even held a presser at the Georgia State House with about 30 co-workers. Watch. We'd like to remind you that government is never bigger than when it's inside a woman's body or in her doctor's office. I've never seen a government inside a woman's body, but we'll check on that. Okay. Milano Does tried, she have a heartbeat? Well, uh, yeah, I don't know. Milano tried to deliver her ultimatum to the governor, who was not in. What is she but wearing she on her did head? run into a Republican, Representative Dominic LaRiccia. Watch. What district of Georgia are you from? Uh, I work in Georgia. Do you vote in Georgia? I don't vote in Georgia. I'm just but there's, wondering what district you were from. There's 30 people outside that do vote in Georgia that I was going to but, escort but you in. Don't vote in Excuse me. Okay. Don't interrupt me. The no, don't, don't interrupt me. Right, well, the congressman asked the right question, Laura. What district are you from? Now, the state of Georgia gives away $300 million or so annually to the film Take industry away. and tax breaks. And this is the thanks they get, bullying from the very people benefiting from their generosity. Laura, do you know the government of Georgia has never done a cost-benefit analysis for the $300 million they give away each year to Hollywood? If they do that, they might find they're not making as much as they're giving out. What would they possibly do in Georgia without Sean Penn traipsing around? <laughs> Alyssa, who's the boss? I'll tell you who the boss is. It's Trump. Well, used to in it. another act of Southern harassment, Keith Olbermann, ESPN anchor, Former. read an article in a local Mississippi newspaper, and it told the story of Hunter Waltman, a hunter who successfully tracked and killed a rare white turkey. Oh. It so enraged Oberman that he tweeted, it be rare and beautiful, so me should kill it. This pea brain scumbag identifies himself as Hunter Waltman, and we should do all our best to make sure the rest of his life is a living hell, and the nitwit clown who wrote this fawning piece should be fired. Well, well this led to threats against the hunter and the paper. How does Oberman think sliced turkey gets to his balducci's? Does it slice itself in the wild? He, he had to apologize, and he is officially the, the worst, worst person in the in world. The world. Oh, in the, in the south. south. No, in the world, actually. Yeah. All right, now these elites are even trying to tell us what we can and cannot eat. Mm. Of course, they, they're not happy. And they, they always want government out of a woman's body, right. but they want to affect what goes in our body, okay? <laughs> Chick-fil-A has been barred from establishing restaurants at two airports, in Buffalo, Niagara Airport, and San Antonio. Now, this is because of the complaints alleged uh, uh, against the company's alleged stance on LGBT issues. Not an issue to kick Chick-fil-A out of San Antonio. This is about making public spaces available to everybody. I think you should have the right to love and marry whoever you want, but it, I don't think it would be enough for me to prevent me from going into a Chick-fil-A. I like their food. Now, Laura, it's one thing if consumers want to decide, I'm not going to go into that restaurant or that particular store because of the political viewpoint of the store. I guess we're going to have to post it like calorie count up on the menu. Yeah. But for the government to ban a restaurant seems way over the top. Well, this is the beginning of... Something much bigger. It's a censorship. It's a censorship. Gover federal government. So now we're only going to have certain uh, well, restaurants for uh, for conservatives, I guess, in certain. I guess is that's how they want to play it. Okay. Bad news. Bad for America. Before we go, I have to share this with everyone. This is a picture. I watched this taking place. Now this is you and Joe Biden at a party many years ago. Uh, many as years I ago. watched Not Biden give his mea culpa today, I thought about this. Do you remember he walked up to you? He put both his hands on your shoulders and he said, "Honest to God, Ingraham." Of all the right wingers, you're my favorite. Honest to God. I do remember. Watch this. Do you remember this? It was to build you up, Laura. In my career, I've always tried to make a human connection. I shake hands. I hug people. I, I grab men and women by the shoulders and say, "You can do this." Well, I think honest that... to God, Ingraham, you're my favorite. 
Oh. My favorite host, not Shannon Bream, not that Tucker Jew baby. Oh, my oh it's all you. I'm feeling very, honest to God. I'm really. feeling. Can, it's I, true. I actually have it's a true. knot here. Can you work I can, on I can that? work Thank that out. Good. Read your cheese.